Hey y'all, I think there's a bigger picture that's being forgotten when it comes to knotted locks and why it was created. It's not so much uh, the technique. I mean, the technique is, is very important because somebody questioned whether or not Melissa Blake, um, you know, in the knotted locks thing was just a money grab. And I think that's a good question. But I don't think it's just a money grab for her because she created knotted locks <clears throat> to empower women, to encourage women to take control of the care of their hair, to get away from the rigidness of sister locks with the scheduled reties and sticking to this retie schedule that also um, tied into, you know, their pockets. And, and I know that's with any business. I get that. But when it's excessive and you're realizing that all these different reties are not necessary, like, and with knotted locks, like, you wait until you have a good two, three months worth of new growth before you do your retightening. And I think Melissa is coming from a standpoint of giving you the power, not being tied to someone else telling you when you should come in, when you, when you should have your retie, and letting other people mess in your hair, do your hair in a way that you don't like, doing your reties too tight, being too rough with your hair, using that sister locks tool, pulling and yanking in your hair. That's where she's coming from. She's trying to help empower people, especially those who enjoy um, DIY, those who like to take care of their own hair, or those who don't mind taking care of other people's hair. Now, whether or not she's going to do these mass classes like Sister Locks and just teach the world, I don't know. But I don't think there's anything wrong with her charging people for her time. She should absolutely do that. Anybody should do that. Like she's taking time out of her day, away from her family, away from the things that she needs to do to try to teach people this process. So yeah, she should charge for that. I have no problem with that. I don't see this as a money grab as much as I see Sister Locks as a total money grab because Sister Locks is nothing but a money grab. And I can't tell you how many people I've heard or how many people who have told me the reason why they got into Sister Locks was for the money that they can make. Not because they love doing hair, not because they care about hair or the health of people's hair, it was money first. So when you have those type of people floating around, you gotta be, you gotta put out the message of uh, buyer beware. Be careful of who you allow to do your hair. And like, it doesn't take long to see, you know, what these people really are, what they're in it for. You know, when all they care about is getting your butt in a seat and you handing off them money and they do a half booty job on your hair. Or when you have issues and you bring the issues up, they don't even care. They have no no solution, no suggestions as to how to fix things. Like, So I think Melissa's intentions are very pure. I don't think she's doing this to make all this money, especially when she's conducting it the way she's conducting it. It's totally different from Sister Locks and their whole schedule of, you know, classes and is completely different. So, yeah, I think empowering women, especially those who've had Sister Locks and trying to get them to take on um, taking care of their own hair themselves, I think that's a good thing. And there's a lot of women out here who are willing to take care of their own hair or who wants to. And then there's a, there's those like me who don't want it. <laughs> like somebody asked a question in one of my other videos, and it was a really good question. She asked, um, 
if I would do the knotted locks system. And I was like, no, first of all, I don't think my hair, I think my hair is my locks. I think they're too big. Knotted locks was more so for those who had sister locks or micro locks. And I think my locks are too big. I, I guess I could if I wanted to. And again, you have to, you know, wait until you have that two, three months worth of new growth or more. And, um, but no, <laughs> no, I want somebody to do my hair. I need somebody to do my hair. I'm not that type of DIYer. I like to d make hair products. I like to make my own hair butters, body butters, oils, all that stuff. But to do my own hair, no. No, I will be seeking out one of you who learn it. If anybody's in my area, I will seek you out to do my not, not at locks. But to do it myself, no. I'm not that girl. I'm not that girl. Um, but those were great comments, great questions. Um, I want to touch on one more thing. Someone said that... Um, you know, there's issues with all the different ways that you can start your lock journey. And I never said that there wasn't. Um, this person pointed out that, you know, braid locks aren't a good way to start your locks because the braid pattern never goes away. That's false. The braid pattern does go away. It takes some time, but it will go away eventually. I have I know of and have seen too many people who started their locks with braids and they're beautiful and you can't even tell. Um, and then they said that two strand twist doesn't work because the ends keep unraveling. Again, two strand twist is one of the most popular ways to start locks. And I know of so many people who start their locks that way. And that's just not necessarily true. And if that is a problem for someone who may have looser textured hair or whatever, there's ways around that. You can take a crochet hook and lock those ends. Problem solved. And a lot of people do that. Or you can leave it alone and let and the ends will lock on their own eventually. So it's like, I don't even know the point of bringing those two things up because what you think insta-locking or interlocking is the only way to start locks no or or i mean too many people have started locks all kinds of different ways successfully so yeah i just want to address that like who who even said that like yeah people have their own issues with the different ways that they start their locks but that's why you need to figure out which way suits you which way are you comfortable with and then go from there. Like, there are no perfect, there's no perfect way to start locks. Everybody's different. It just depends on what you want and what you like. It's no biggie. But anywho, it's Monday. Y'all have a great day. I'll talk to y'all soon and keep the comments coming. And uh, let's keep the conversation going. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.